This is Sergeant Private Trump, uh, a visually impaired assistive technology specialist at the Utah State University Center of Persons with Disabilities, testing the Shop Talk system at Lee's Marketplace in Logan, Utah. Shop Talk is a proof of concept wearable system designed to assist visually impaired shoppers with finding shelf products in supermarkets. The system is based on a very simple conceptual formula independent blind shopping equals verbal route directions plus shelf barcode scans. Sachin has selected a product and is now following a set of verbal instructions generated by the system from the topological map of the supermarket. Sachin is collaborating with his guide dog Barstow in executing these verbal route directions. When Sachin scans any shelf barcode, the system begins to use its database called the barcode connectivity matrix. The assumption is that the barcode connectivity matrix is automatically built from the store's inventory control system or is actually connected to it directly, the database associates each shelf barcode MSI not UPC with several types of information such as an aisle number, the side of the aisle, a shelf section number, and so forth. When Sachin scans a shelf barcode, the system can tell him you are in aisle 5 or move two shelves down or scan five barcodes left and so forth. Sachin receives these instructions through a wireless headphone. These instructions help him home in on the target product. Notice how Sachin first finds shelf barcodes by touch and then scans them. After the target MSI barcode is scanned, Sachin can just reach over and get the product. So he just successfully retrieved the first product. The system's hardware consists of a computational unit, uh, the OKO Model 001 computer, a built-in numeric keypad, a handheld wireless barcode scanner with two plastic stabilizers, and a USB hub that connects all the components. The user wears a small camelback backpack to carry the equipment. The numeric keypad is attached by a Velcro strip to one of the backpack shoulder straps. Two more examples of successful MSI barcode scans and product retrievals are coming up. The shopper has the option of verifying the product with this barcode scanner, but none of the visually impaired participants in our experiments chose to do it. They did the verification by touch, smell, or shake. To qualify for these experiments, each participant had to give us evidence of independent travel, independent walks around the neighborhood, and independent use of public transportation. You notice that John Nicholson is following Sachin with the Lufkin wheel, a distance measuring device. He, we use this wheel to systematically estimate the distance walked by each participant in our experiments. When Sachin begins to walk again, John will put the wheel down and follow him. We notice that the more the participants used the system, the smaller was the total distance they walked in the store. A key finding was that verbal route directions were sufficient for our sample of independent travelers to navigate the supermarkets reliably. The more they used the system, the less they requested verbal route directions. As soon as they heard the aisle of a selected product, they would just go there independently. If this finding generalizes to the entire population of independent visually impaired travelers, it suggests that verbal route directions may well be sufficient. The important point here is to suggest that the store may not need, may not need to be instrumented with any external sensors, such as RFID tags, Wi-Fi routers, and IR transmitters.